Hi friends, I'm Jamila and welcome to the Venus Experiment channel. So today is Saturn day, February 15th, and the moon is in the deep dark depths of Scorpio today. And this is such an opportunity for deep emotional transformation today, especially because this deep emotional Scorpio moon is harmoniously aligned with Pluto which means if you're brave enough to jump to the very bottom of your emotions and go to the bottom of those feelings, so much will come to light. And as you come back up to the surface, you are transformed by Pluto, by this deep diving. So go into the emotions today because there are some messages here and some deep transformation that can happen. And then this afternoon, the moon will align with Saturn to really solidify these transformations. And today is a real turning point for all of us as it's the exact last quarter square of our moon phase, which means that we are three weeks into this Aquarius new moon cycle. So only one week left and we are closing out everything that came to light with last week's full moon. So integrating and completing this process. So there's big choices in this turning point today, this crossroads that's coming where we really make some decisions and with Scorpio moon that helps us really commit to these decisions. As when the moon is in Scorpio, we are making deep roots in the ground. We are planting deeply. So committing here. So where is your commitment happening today for your elements? Let's look at that. So let's start with air signs. So air signs, the new moon three weeks ago was really about new hope and new inspiration, new creativity and a new identity and really finding your joy and your purpose. And today, this turning point is about feeling into this new grounded reality around you and really attending to the business of your life. And that's where the turning point is for creating this new hopeful, joyful identity that you're doing with this moon cycle. So Gemini, take care of your routines, maybe commit to a new thing in your daily life and in your routines. And Libra, take some look, take a look at your values and your money and the emotions that are in your money and attachment to it needing to be a certain way. So values and money have some deep insights and transformation that can happen today. And Aquarius, this is a new identity you're building. And this turning point is about something in your career. So there's an emotional shift that's needing to happen to really change your career direction and how you're seen in the world, how you put yourself out there. This is an important shift. So put your attention on the outer world and how people see you, your work and your career. Commit to something. And this makes this shift of your new identity complete. Yay, air signs. Okay, water signs. So this new moon three weeks ago was all about pulling out your deep karmic roots and connecting into your ancestors and your subconscious and the deep dark stuff that we don't want to look at all the time was all coming to light in the last three weeks. So the shift that's happening today, the turning point is you truly connecting into your joy and your purpose and what makes you happy. And that's where the shift is with this deep karmic cleansing that you're doing this month. So finding what makes you happy, this is the shift. Find that joyful energy, that creativity and commit to that. And then this closing out of these big karmic ancestral roots, these can be washed away this month. 
So in this commitment to your joy, Cancer, it's committing to your creativity and your children and what brings you so much joy. This commitment to your happiness and your joyfulness is where the shift is and it's going to be shifting your deep, deeply enmeshed partnerships. That's what gets to shift as you tune in to your joy and creativity. And Scorpio, this new beginning is at home. You're creating a new home this month, the last three weeks. And with this Scorpio moon, this is your energy. It's tuning you back into you and what you want and not just needing to put your energy into your home and deep diving with your ancestors and family and family karma. It's about you. And as you really focus on you, you shift this huge energy in your home and your emotional life. And you have this opportunity for a new home and new emotions and new family karma as you really clean it out with this. Go deep, Scorpio. That's what you're here to do, deep Scorpio. So Pisces, so this new beginning, this was about your values and your money. And this big shift is you connecting to this new faith. So really feeling this new faith, committing to your new faith and purpose and feeling it so deeply that you know where you're headed, you know where you're going and committing to this faith and purpose shifts your finances, shifts your money in such a huge way. So make that leap of faith and commit to that purpose that you know that you feel that's so strong inside. It's a deep not logical, deep in emotional and instinctual connection. So go into it and run with it, Pisces. And fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So the new beginning for you, fire signs, this was all about new friends and new contacts, new business contacts, new clients, new communities. It's all about the social world and really expanding your social world, making new friends, and just your whole social sphere just grew so much in the last three weeks. And now the shift that needs to happen to make this complete is diving into your emotions, going home and going into this retreat space where you have time and space to feel your feelings and do some psychological deep diving and really cleanse your spirit with this weekend of emotional energy and get re-inspired in this new social way, this new way that your, your social sphere is opening up so big and really tuning you in to what makes you happy. So do the deep diving. So Gemini, Talk to somebody about your deep psychological stuff that's coming up. This is coming up for a reason so you can address it. And as you do, it changes your whole community. It changes your whole world. The people around you, your community is what's shifting. And this deep shift in your intense relationships, talk to your partner, talk to anyone that you can go so deep and explore all of your fears and in a safe space so you can really clear this out and make room for a new community in your life Aries yay and Leo new relationships new clients new one-on-ones all around you so you are surrounded by people and the shift that needs to happen is going home Go home this weekend. Find your home within. Connect to your ancestors, your family, and really clean this out. Clean out your home. And that's your physical home, your do real domestic living space, or your emotional home and looking deep within and looking at your history and your past and your roots and where you come from and cleaning this out to make this room in your life for new relationships to come in because that's what wants to come in, but you got to clear this out first. Yay, you can do it, Leo.
And Sagittarius, this new beginning, this is in your business contacts and your mind and your thinking in new ways and really opening your mind to new perspectives and really shifting your belief systems here. And what's being asked of you is to connect to your subconscious, to bring some things to light in your subconscious. So give yourself some time today to go within and feel some feelings. Lay in bed all day if you can. Give yourself a break. And if you can't, if you're working, then go within and connect into your subconscious while you're doing your day and give yourself the space that you would have if you were laying in bed all day. Because that's the goal. So you can really tune into your unconscious mind and all of this can come to light and clean you out in such a big way for this new this new way of thinking a new way of communicating that's coming in so take some time Sagittarius and Taurus Virgo and Capricorn last but not least the earth signs so this new beginning for you, this last three weeks, this has been about your real world. You are shifting your work, you're shifting your lifestyle, you're shifting your routines, you're looking at your money, you're getting grounded. Your earth signs, that's your job and you're so good at it. And this is the time to put extra energy into that area of really addressing your real world around you and getting a new perspective on the world around you and fixing it up so it feels good. And what needs to shift this today is your relationships. So this deep dive that we're all doing, this is deep diving in your relationships. So communicating and talking in this new and sensitive and emotional language that you've been exploring. So Taurus, the shifting is happening in your career. You're building a new career, a new reputation, a new way of putting yourself out there in the world. And the shift today is going deep into your emotions about your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one relationships. So it's not necessarily your partner. It's your best friend. It's any one-on-one -on -one in your life that is important to you. That's where the shift is today. So communicate to your others and commit to them in this emotionally sensitive way of exploring a new way of communicating and a new way of being in relationship. So that's also a relationship with yourself that needs to be deepened and shift too. Okay, Virgo, so the shifting has been, you've been really focusing on your work and your daily life and really putting this new perspective on your routines and changing this up in such a big way. And what needs to shift is the way you communicate and the way that you think. So you're really shifting your thinking today. So talk about it. And remember, Mercury is in Pisces. It's going to turn retrograde tomorrow. So your beautiful logic and practical wisdom, this is your gift. But with this season, with Mercury in Pisces, you've got to throw that out the window. No more logic and reason, Virgo. No more practical logic here. It's all intuition. And where it's really shifting is in your relationships, your one-on-one -on -one relationships. That's where all this magical Piscean energy is. And you can use it to communicate to your others in this new way. And as you do that, you are really shifting up your belief systems. You're shifting up your mind, trying to communicate in this new way that is not your usual way of understanding things logically and mentally and trying to understand from the other person's perspective and where they're coming from and how they're really feeling. And as you do it, you totally shift up your mind and allow for a huge new perspective to come in and expansive changes to actually happen in your routines and daily life as you do that. Yay, Virgo. 
relationships and Capricorn the shift this month the last three weeks has been about your money and your values and what you personally own all the stuff in your life you've been really focusing on that the last three weeks and the shift that needs to happen today is in your community and in your friendships and in the way you put yourself out there in the world there's a commitment that needs to happen today committing to showing up in a different way in the world and a deep emotional connection to your friends so really going deep and committing and deep diving in your friendships and your communities and also your dreams your hopes and dreams for the future so that's where the commitment and the big shift is happening today so you can have more personal income coming in that's what this new moon is for it's building money for you and changing up your values and your stuff so put your attention on your friends and community today Okay, I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday and go deep in the feelings. And I forgot to mention, whoops, at the very end, that the moon shifts tonight at 8.06 p.m. Pacific time. So the end of the day, we get this fun and light lightness added to our emotions. For all of this deep emotional work, we get to fly into Sagittarius, into some fun, sparkly, wild adventures for the next couple days. So thank you, friend. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.